Okay, here we are again, puppy. Um, going to start off with a bit of white and we're going to do these little flecky bits of white in here because they are pretty white, I would say, compared to the, compared to the creamy colour. But I think um, I just will use this um, Caran d'Ache white because it's much stronger pigment. Um, I used a bit of it on the other bits. I'll just show you in a sec. Just do this. There. Okay. Yeah, I used a bit of it in in these bits here and they really it really is bright it's lovely that you can see it just makes such a difference so we've got little flicky bits you know that are coming from here like uh, uh, that's quite a strong line there isn't it so just kind of go through that and then you know you can get a stronger line in that way um, that's a bit softer. And then just soften the end. Like that. So we'll do these little bits here. Don't have to be exact, just get the feeling of that flicky effect. Now they don't all have to be really, really bright. They can be different uh, pressures always gives a much better look then, much more natural. So you get slightly different colour whites by different pressures. And if some of them come a bit too white, just go for them with a yellow. So here we've got some nice little bits on the end here. Some are just little spots actually, aren't they? Just tiny little spots. Now, uh, what we need to do is, what I noticed here is this, this bit here needs to be a lot sort of softer looking really. So I'm gonna get my cream and just soften that over a bit there, all this. It's a bit liney looking. Just nice and soft. This is softer in here, it's more creamy. That's a bit darker up there. In fact, that can go darker in that corner. I'll do that now. I've got the dark red now. Get that in there. been much on his eye at all, have we? He's so busy with his hair. We've got his eye to finish off here. Before we got there, I'll, I'll do a bit more on his eye, around his eye here. Just 
soften it all up. Now we're going over the red here. I've already done this in red. Because it is more browny looking there. And then we've got, we've left a bit of the paper there, so we're just going to cover that over with the black. And leave a bit of the graininess in it, I think. I can see that bits of trick is here not to get too um, involved in detail. Doesn't need to be detailed here. He's got hairy little eyes so we just need to get the colour really right. Let's go and try a bit of orange in here, see what that, see what that does. Not too bad. Maybe a touch of the red over the top. It's come out a bit yellowy. Let's try the red now on the top. See that? There's a little bit of grey in there, so I've just kind of lightly covered the paper, like I just said. And now I'm just going to put some creamy bits in there. And over the red and the orange, it, will, it won't come out too light, it'll just lighten it off a bit and give it a bit of dimension in there. when we get the rest on, I think. Now, see this, where the ends of these hairs are looking a bit blunt? You can actually just make them into a softer edge like that. Just go over them. Just get a bit of softness in there. And you can just soften them back a bit. Again, you're just give it a bit of blending and go over with your finger. So, let's see, I've done the little flecky bits there, done some little flecky bits through here, they're kind of, that's all looking a bit better colour wise there, just, so look at this. Tackle, we'll tackle this next. I can see there's 
There's some nice cream here, so I'll do that now. Right, now what we need to do is put more black in for a start off here. More black, then we need to cover this over with a bit more black I think because this is quite dark here, this bit here. And then we'll, yeah, that, that needs, that needs some orange on it actually. Put some more orange on it. It's quite dark, so I'll use the dark red first. So you just put it on very lightly. Put then the orange. And just merge it back because it's quite quite dark and put some black on. Just look at the shape above it. So it's kind of like that. It's bitty looking. It's actually the same bit of this. Okay, so here I'm going to go over with a bit more black here. so the white hairs will show up over it. We'll soften all of this up, right up here. So you just randomly come through. Then this needs to be, it's quite, yeah, no, that's, that's dark. So I'm just looking at patches, patches of darkness, because I only put it in very, very loosely when I first trace this on. Missed out a lot of bits, I just put the main, the main bits in really. So there's a fair bit to do on here, but I don't think it will take us that long to do this. Then there's a little fleck there, there's some black in there. Just looking at the thicknesses of these shapes, really. And looks like we can put some dark blue in here as well. I have picked out some dark blue, haven't I? It's going to make a nice change working with some different colours, actually. After all the cream and red. Cream, red and orange. I'm going to go back down here. Right down there and that. It's quite dark, isn't it? Then we've got dark patch here. And then we've got some more black lines coming over there. We've got the little curls here. They're nice and fine. There's a bit of black there coming from the root. This is all kind of crisscrossy uh, with the other colour as well. Just some black in here. Don't have black there, that's alright. That's okay. Oh, look, Let's see what happens. Let's get some carried away. Let me just wipe my hand. the paper towel rather than the uh, my trousers I've got. I've got my house trousers on so it doesn't really matter. 
I won't be going out in these. Hmm. Right, now. See, these are the bits I, I really enjoy doing bits like this. It's so therapeutic. I've got a line, it's kind of almost a straight, straight line there. There. That's quite a thin. There. Coming down like that, actually. That's it. Now, this is coming right. This is this bit here, look. See, we've already done that. Exactly the same, but don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. It really won't matter for this. But you do need to get these different colours in. Quite thin. Yeah, there's a bit of brown in there. I don't know where that's come from. Could be anywhere in it. There. Some of these are blue, that'll be nice, nice to do. Some straight lines through there. So I'm just going over the lilac here and we'll just see how that all looks when we've, when we've done that. That, we will put black streaks in here because Although it's very light in there, the black streaks will give it a nice um, hairy look, just like we've got there. This is quite dark in here. I'll put some lilac lines over that. this darker so that the light lines will really show up. That's quite a light patch there. Then I've got a little, like a little V there. That's all going to be more hairy. And you see we can use some of that to bring back over there as well. Although there, I can't see any black hairs coming over it. Still looks very effective. There's a black in here though. Now, this is where we've got a lighter line under there, and then it goes into this. We've got a light line there, then it gets dark here. Now, I want to look at this and we'll just put, there are 
going to be some hairs in here, but we'll just put some a bit more black in there. So we've got these lines come in quite strong down there. And it veers off. So we've got that patch there, which is there. Then we've got a line through that patch. Yeah, we've got another line coming here now. So we've got that there. Then we've got this line coming down, kind of like that really. And so then that separates off to close off this bit here. Very much how we did this bit here. 